The FX Impact is the greatest air gun the world has ever known. It's that simple, it's undisputed. There's three main reasons why. One, accuracy. The FX accuracy out of the barrels, and granted this is for all FX rifles because it uses the same barrels, but particularly on the impact of this platform, this consistently wins at competitions. You can't deny the results. Number two is power. In its class, meaning within these calibers, this is pushing the limits and has continued to push the limits of these calibers of what it could do. I mean, this is the gun that got a 22 cal 40 grain shooting at the same speed as a 22 long rifle, that 10 40 feet per second. And third, there is no more customizable air gun than FX Impact. Literally, I don't see two impacts of the same because there's so many ways to make it unique. There's a bevy of accessories, ways to customize it for different shooting styles. And that's what we're gonna show you today. There's a whole bunch of new gear that's out there to make your impact uniquely yours. But before I get to all the accessories, the main accessory of any rifle is your scope. And this is very special. This is the brand new Element Theos. This is such a beautiful piece of glass. A six to 36 first focal plane, tier one glass. Look, the best air rifle in the market deserves the best glass. From a housekeeping standpoint, there are more of these coming to the market because they have been selling quickly. So they are coming. Definitely check out the, uh, the Element Theos. This has been two years in the making, and this is the flagship of Element. They've done an ama amazing job. But let's talk about the rifle accessories. The great thing about the Impact is you have so many companies making unique gear for it. Most of you guys are familiar with companies like Crawford and & Lipt and Sabre Tactical, and they've done a great job. The nice thing is there's now new companies coming to the market, and a lot of what I wanna show you here today is a company called Air Marksman. Now, Air Marksman, they're out of Utah, and there's some loose association with Utah air guns. But we're kissing cousin. That's what makes it all right, all right, all right. But they are their own standalone company where they're making dedicated aftermarket things for the FX Impact and, and the other FX rifles. Now, most of you know about Air Marksman from their first product, which is the Backbone Rail. So this backbone rail comes in three lengths. You have a short, medium, and a long. So this is a long because it's an 800 millimeter barrel and that suits it really well. Now the backbone rail is gonna replace your scope rail and that original factory backbone plate and it's making it into one unique, very rigid piece with some really cool features. Obviously, you got all the Picatinny, right? And depending on the length you want, this is really designed for, like you have this great GRS top mounted bipod. That's perfect for that. The scope, Clears all that, you can see clearly, no problem there. It's also perfect if you wanna do like a clip-on thermal. So that's a great piece, obviously with extended rail. Now there's other products from some of these other guys that do the extended rails, but the difference with the backbone is you have, again, one piece all the way back. So from that, you got rigidity. Muscle, muscle, what? Muscle. Right, the idea is you're really making sure you're eliminating any flex, you're keeping the gun as rigid as possible. There's one more cool feature of the backbone is this detent back here. Uh, the Air Marksman guys, uh, they have competition mind, meaning NRL, PRS uh, style competition shooting. And in between stages, you have to have that bolt open. Now, if you accidentally move that bolt forward, that's gonna cause problems, double loads, disqualifications, things like that. So with this detent, that'll hold the, as you cock the gun, that'll hold it open in between stages and that's adjustable. So really cool piece, that's a one piece, a lot of advantages there and it looks pretty badass as well. Wow. Right? Yeah. Great, thanks. Amazing. So the other thing Air Marksman offer is the carbon fiber bottles. Now, what's unique about a carbon fiber bottle? Well, first of all, these are 300 bar bottles because you know the impact with this double regulator can handle a 300 bar bottle and they have various lengths. This is the unique length in the fact that that's 700 cc's of air, which with an 800 millimeter barrel, that works really well. Uh, 700, if you're doing a tension barrel, the 700 doesn't work, but with a normal standard 700 barrel, it works as well, but it's, it pairs very well with the 800 millimeter tension barrel and you got a lot of air there. So that's a 700 cc, 300 bar bottle and they have them in various sizes all the way down to the 300 cc. Now the new product they just released is this bottom rail, extended bottom rail and it's called the Anvil rail. Again, I told you guys, they do things from a PRS NRL style competition idea. This Anvil rail, first of all, it's Arca. It's extended, I think you have 16 inches of uh, length there to play with. But the big thing here is on that flat surface, uh, because the, the impact is uh, the, most of the weights to the back, first of all, this is two pounds of weight. Because when you're doing competition, you want to get balance point and having that extra weight so when you, when you put it on a barricade, it, it sits and you're ready to shoot quickly. 
Now this whole rail is Arca, but the unique thing is the Arca goes all the way past the trigger guard. I can, I can get something right here. Like if you got one of those clip-on Arca bags, I can move it back there because that might be where my center of gravity is. It's, it's a little bit forward on this one because I have the big GRS bipod, but without that, yeah, right under the trigger guard is gonna be my sweet spot. So you have that nice and flat there. That, that's the brilliance of the anvil. The weight of it, the length, uh, if you're using an Arca bipod underneath, you got a lot of travel there. Like I said, those bags that can attach. And then you can add, um, you, you can add your weights to the side or you can do a, like a five slot MOA, like a, a Magpul Picatinny rail. A lot of options there. Great new uh, product uh, from Air Marksman there. I swear I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, but that was awesome. <laughs> So the last accessory from Air Marksman, it's harder to see, but it's right here. This is a flat trigger blade. You know, when it comes to trigger blades, everybody likes a different approach. This is the idea of it's, instead of the curved impact one, it's flat. Again, it's very repeatable. A lot of people like that. So that's, that's a new option from Air Marksman. And speaking of trigger blades, I actually just got something in the mail today that I'm going to try out as well. This is new from 910, um, 910 Tuning and Repairs. So they make some cool little accessories. This is a pinpoint trigger shoe. So on this, there's some cool things going on here. First of all, you, you have a, you know, a little pinpoint. You got a little screw there. The idea on that is, as I put my finger on the trigger, I can get it repeatable. Like, I, I know if it's in the right spot as I, as I do my reps. And so I get that feel there. It's also helpful if I'm wearing gloves that I can still feel that. And you can adjust it. There's different sizes on that. The other thing is they can't the hole in the back. So depending on, if I have a reach on my finger where I really start reaching around the, uh, the trigger, I can flip that around and cant it to the left so I have it in the sweet spot. So that's a neat new product from 910 Air Guns. Uh, very cleverly thought out, so I'm excited to try that. Other accessories from the rifle. This is from Sabre Tactical. This is a new ambidextrous cheek piece. So you can see that it's curved on both sides. So whether you're lefty or righty, you're covered. And actually thinking about it, this is probably this should still work with that left-handed impact magazine that the guys at Bullet Central made that I think people are gonna be excited about, mainly lefties. Why else would you be excited? But I know I talked to those guys that's being anodized right now, so in the coming weeks, I know there's a left-handed mag, and they're doing a right-handed mag as well because they're doing something different with the spring as far as more of a, a tension that's the same throughout. So cool design. At the back here, I have the Crawford & Lip. This is the KLS-3 uh, with the bag rider. Really cool piece, toolless, so it's very easy. Like. Um, I, I, I pull that off before I put it in my die cut case. So great to use, great design, love that. The KLS-3, uh, I already mentioned the GRS bipod up front here. And then on the back side, you know, FX is giving you guys options as well. You have that angled manometer bracket that I really like, and that, that shows you your second regulator, which is really all I want to keep an eye on. Then we have the Geller digital gauge on there. Really nice piece there. You know, there's all sorts of options. You can do different throw levers. You can, uh, obviously, between moderators, it's got a tension barrel kit on it because I'm, I'm shooting slugs on this. This is in 22 cal. I really like the 34 grain uh, Javelin Gen 2s at like 10, 20 feet per second. It can be anything and everything you want it to be. And that's why the FX Impact is the best air gun in the world. You got the precision, you got the power, and you got the accessories. And the best part about these accessories, you know, things like Air Marksman, these are just these are big enough companies now that they're distributed so it's not like you just have to go to one source I'm sure they all have their websites you can buy direct from but your favorite air gun dealer should be carrying this stuff so stuff like the backbone the, the obviously the saber tactical stuff you can get that pretty much anywhere 910 I know they're starting to do stuff where they're distributing as well oh this is a cool little thing this is a, a double magazine carrier from air marksman so you basically attach it to your belt you can hold magazines or extra pellets this is all good stuff and there's no better time to be an air gunner than right now. Oh, one more from Air Marksman. You're buying an Impact. Look at this. Here's a little cloth to, as you're doing your modifications and as you're working on it. That's pretty cool. A little table mat with the blowout diagram of the Impact. This is awesome. There's no better time to be an air gunner. In fact, let's do a little bonus time because I got two other things to show you. Yes, yes, more, more. Uh, Ernest is up this week, so Ernest, show me what you got. It's, Ernest, as you guys know, he lives in New Jersey, right <laughs> over the border from New York, but he comes to us every once in a while. Just we, to have fun. Yeah, just to, we steal him away from his wife and his dogs and his kids. But I saw that when you came this time, you had something new from the guys over at Crawford and Lipped. Let me show you its features. Yep. So show me what Can't you got. Wait. 
Show me its features. What you got here? The name is the LTEC. So the LTEC from Crawford and Lipt. And, and what I'm seeing here, this is replacing, I'm gonna actually prop it up there. Yeah. This is replacing the backside of the impact. So I'm, I'm, let me swap spots with you because yeah. you're gonna point out. So what do we got? Uh, this, this whole piece is one solid unit. Okay. All right. It's held by uh, four screws and four screws on the top. And it's one unit you slap on. Okay. All right. The, the, the unique thing about this uh, LTEC is how it, the pellet probe retract from the transfer port. You know, when you insert a pellet and this yep. probe blocks, it blocks it. And it retracts it just past forward of the O-ring groove. I think if we show this yeah. and then we'll explain it, it'll make sense. Because I think a lot of people are like, this is how I feel sometimes. Because yeah. you're so brilliant and you yeah. tell me something and I'm like, Huh? I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. Yeah, this is why we have it. You guys got to see it on motion. In okay, motion. this will explain it. All right, so I'm cocking the rifle. Not only am I cocking the hammer, but I'm also, there's a spring there, there's right? There's a shear. It catches the spring tension here. Yep. Right. Now, pull it forward. It's seating the pellet. When, when you all the way... Right around here, block. watch what happens. Yeah. <gasps> what the what hell, hell is that? <laughs> what is that noise? Well... So I pull it back. When you compress the spring, when you release the shear, it kicks back the pellet probe back. This is the change. Yes. Okay, so I totally get it. Let me let me yeah. see. If, tell me if I'm wrong or not. Okay, so we have, hmm. yes, we got, you know, transfer port. Pellet pushes the projectile forward, seats it. All the way. Push yep. it all the way till it seats. Seats it, and then it hits that point where that retracts. Yes. The spring so is released and bam. The key is, yeah. I have unobstructive, unobstruct for the air, yeah. right? Unobstruct. Obstruction. Yeah. Unobstruction. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing in the way of the air. Yes. <laughs> so that's, the, that's that click you yeah. find. Yeah. You, you, you pull it out, the magazine rotates, pushes it in, seats the projectile, the slug pellet, and then pops it back out to get it out of the way. Yeah. So you won't get blowback. He just goes far enough back, right, retracts yeah, it. It's not coming out here. So the O-ring sits on the probe still, creates a seal. And now, yeah, now I have, I have Less unobstruction. Nailed it. The best part on a 22 is like 25 to 40 feet per second increase. That's so this idea, of, since, since that air is now not going around, so, and I know we were talking about yeah. this, this is even a little bit of the advantage of the pin probe, right? The pin yeah. probe, less obstruction, but there's still something it's there. still there. Yes. This, flow of air. Yes. It's a really cool idea. It's very clever engineering. Mm -hmm. Now, my understanding is if, if I buy one and put one on, that's, that's not like a 30-second thing, right? No, it requires a video because you need to adjust the stroke, the cocking system to adjust it properly. It has to be just right. And, and the other thing I noticed... Um, there's pros and cons. I don't want to say cons, meaning yeah. just you need to know what it is. This is caliber specific. Yes. So it's not if you're changing your your barrel. This. Well, actually, you can change the probe here. The okay. probes are interchangeable. Okay. And in the future, they'll have a, a profile at the end for pellets to guide the pellets straighter in. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about because I saw that the the uh, yes inside the plate there, here. Yes, the probe. Is on a precision hole, so the probe doesn't move around. So it's always right. direct contact. So this plate that, here, that you plate have a precision fit hole that's right around yes. it. So if I'm changing up to 30 cal, I'm assuming you I have, have to, to change, change the plate. plate. Yes. Okay. So there's a little, that's my point of saying it's not a 30 second swap yeah. the barrel. There's a little bit of a little bit more effort, but mm. I can see for some guys that that would be very interesting. Now you might be looking at if look the impact mm. as a standalone rifle is pretty amazing as is. This yeah. is just a way to. Maybe eke out some, some yes. more, right? If you have a 700 mil barrel and you, th you feel that's a little too long, you could drop down to 600 and get the same speed. Correct. Yeah, so this gives you that options. Or on the guys that are doing the 800 tension, maybe yeah. it's a way to squeeze out some more. You know, us Americans, they, we think that it, more is better. I mean, there is a diminishing returns at some yeah. point, but it's a great option. And now, now uh, the rest of it, um, I really like, you know, obviously they're, yes. they have their... Oh, the butt pad. Yeah, Gen 1, Gen 2, there's a little plate. This is more solid because the whole thing is a complete unit. There's no movement here at all. So you got the butt pad with all the adjustability. Yes. Love, yeah, the rubber here. This is mm -hmm. great. The bag rider, that's adjustable up and yep. down. No, it's a cool uh, It's a cool bit of kit, yes. if you will. Um, it, and the price reflect that, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> it's quality and it's high Higher. in precision, made here in the U.S. by the guys yeah. over Crawford Lift. Yeah. Um, is, is this on the market or just about to be on the market? I believe. I believe is. I saw it on their website. It's okay. There. So go out, uh, search for it if you're interested in that. I, I, this is cool. In general, what we love, it, it FX, we really embrace the idea. There's a lot of these third-party guys engineering, creating things for the impact, and I love that. I love the idea of making something unique because every shooter is different of what they're using. Look, a lot of shooters, you don't have to get this stuff. You, can, you know, the impact mm -hmm. as a standalone system is amazing, but yeah. it's that idea if you want to eke out more and more and yes. customize it. I've been testing this for hundreds, even maybe 500 rounds on this, and it's really reliable. When I got this, first thing I wanted to check is the depth insert of this. As soon as it closed, get a maximum insert, it does pop out. So I removed the barrel and looked at the actual position of the ammo inside the liner. Mm -hmm. And this slug or ammo is like two, three mils inside the liner, properly seated. Yeah. And so it's you're consistent. Seating. No, it's, it's, like I said, love the engineering. So way to go, guys at Crawford Lip. And, and everyone else I know we talked about, Saber Tactical, Air Marksman. Yeah. Love the work these guys are putting in. It's a great opportunity to make your impact unique. Yeah. And uh, it's like every, every month there's something new. In fact, there's something next week we're going to show. But... Um, that's its own separate video because yep. this is really, really exciting, especially for those of us who live in the South. That, that's the key there you clue. <laughs> so awesome. That's it. Uh, hey, that's it for us today on uh, mm -hmm. FX Accessories, Mod, whatever you want to call it. I know YouTube hates the word mod. It's a dirty word. It's an accessory. We're accessorizing. <laughs> We're pimping out your impact. So yeah. great stuff. We'll see you guys next week.